Hello there, Steve here in Sydney. Uh, Lay Gnosis website, truebluehealer.com. Um, I'm going to do a little discussion here. I'm adding a new page to True Blue Healer website. Um, it's called John Allegro, and it's a wonderful sort of comedy tragedy, um, a wonderful historical thing to read. Uh, it's going to make you laugh and cry and probably attract your academic interest to go studying this. I've, I've got, I'm going to accumulate all this, the appropriate videos on a single page in my website, truebluehealer.com. And I'll here elaborate the story a little bit. 1947, Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered. Um, people have often wondered why they were kept secret till the 1990s. The reason is that six of the translators were Catholic priests and only one of them was an agnostic. The agnostic I'm referring to is Mr. John Allegro, who was an outstanding scholar of dead languages, Aramaic, uh, whatever. Um, now, the six Catholic priests who translated the Dead Sea Scrolls kept quiet for 50 years, and even the stuff that came to Sydney on display, I do remember had some translations and was heavily redacted, and most of the Dead Sea Scrolls were not on display for the general public. It's only recently they've begun to appear on the internet in bits and pieces. You might wonder why has there been this 50, 60 year conspiracy to keep the Dead Sea Scrolls contents hidden from you, the common average person. Reason being, John Allegro, being an agnostic, privately published his translation of the Dead Sea Scrolls, revealing that um, it would seem, and you can look up, there's other highly academic people who have confirmed this, there's a book out on the subject. Um, informed commentators have made YouTube videos about this. And he honestly translated the Dead Sea Scrolls as they were written. And it basically says that um, there was a mushroom-eating sect in ancient times, Samaritans, Sumerians. And uh, they used to uh, get a, a heavenly connection, a connection to God by eating certain types of mushrooms. Um, this is recorded in the Dead Sea Scrolls, but you probably didn't know that because they've been kept under wraps for some 50, 60 years. And there was um, um, a serious attempt. In fact, John Allegro's career was effectively destroyed by uh, public domain vilification of him. Um, and he died in 1988, a most distinguished man. The humorous thing is that the things he said in his book, commentaries on the most honest translations uh, include English churches with mushrooms on the stained glass windows. You might wonder why a 500 year old church has mushrooms on its holy stained glass windows. Well, that's all discussed on the web page with various commentators from quite a few decades ago discussing this very amusing and uh, tragic event, keeping the truth from you for as long as possible. But here at last is all brought together for you. Um, on the website I've assembled comment commentaries from uh, a very entertaining young man, a hippie, who actually leads you through bits of the Bible showing you that manna from heaven, which appeared in the morning as if from nowhere, as if from heaven, described as small round loaves, and had to be gathered before the morning dew fell or they would go rotten or they would stink. This is literally written in the Bible and there's a, a hippie which shows you his version of the Bible and he's got it on his lap with a webcam and he shows you, guides you through the passages. It would also explain if it's a hallucinogenic drug that connects you to God apparently permanently, though it can be a rough trip frequently. It's exactly why Jesus said, um, eat my flesh and drink my blood and you will live forever because it means it's a permanent link to heaven. You know what's really there. Um, which suggests that the great religions are just uh, wallpapering over this simple biological fact. A huge distraction to keep you away from knowing God directly. Um, tragic comedy, laughter and thrills. It's better. This is better than Rocky and Bullwinkle any day of the week, right? So. I commend you to this web page on truebluehealer.com. It's the, uh, the page called John Allegro. Now, why am I telling you all of this? 
Well, John Hopkins University um, has um, even verified this to be true. Psilocybin, an active component of some uh, mushrooms, induces um, religious mystical experiences in people repeatedly, as well as very bad, frightening experiences. The effects, both effects can last more than a year, which means it can bring a type of enlightenment and reconsideration, reframing of one's reality. Now, Johns Hopkins University has done this, and the hippie will show you how to find it. It's very easy. You just type in psychology, psilocybin, Johns Hopkins, and you will find many, many commentaries on this study of hallucinogens made from mushrooms. It also explains uh, Santa delivering presents to, into little socks around the fireplace. You might have wondered when you were a child, how can decent sized presents ever fit inside stockings nailed to the fireplace? Well the answer is, mushrooms were originally meant to be put in there in northern Siberia. Shamans in red suits used to deliver mushrooms in the middle of winter, 25th of December and they were put in stockings hung up to be dried to be kept dry okay so now why am i telling you all this wonderful mythology which seems to be based on repeatable biological fact um, verified by a university now they tell you from the university johns hopkins not to do this yourself don't try mushrooms don't try morning glory seeds uh, as there's some terrible side effects such as months and months of fear and anxiety afterwards uh, the possibility of vomiting, nausea, um, anaphylactic shock, as in a food allergy like peanuts. All sorts of things happen. Now, it sounds like I'm trying to talk you out of the drug trip to heaven. Well, I am, because I'm going to give you something that's far better. It's called layman's gnosis. It's free. No drugs are required. No physical contact with any, anything is required. It's 20 minutes. Uh, you go to website, truebluehealer.com, and you get... Um, your biochemical switch closed in just 20 minutes. You'll be given some physical evidence of that. Um, a week later, you'll start to get some messaging dreams. Within a fortnight, you will start to get some physical communications. Now, that's better than any drug trip. None of them are mentioned. Johns Hopkins don't mention any physical contacts with the divine. However, layman's gnosis guarantees it. And four months later, you'll start to get your Kundalini rise, which culminates in the great feeling of connectedness that everyone talks about in these drug experiences that's the good experiences so it all comes for free with no drugs and you can't be arrested psilocybin is an illegal uh, drug you're not allowed to use it you can end up in jail that's a pretty serious side effect isn't it now layman's gnosis um, all for free 20 minutes at our website um, it works and mood elevation is permanent and floods up within you day after day after day. Now, why not have a go at it? This is new natural law, only possible in the last decade. Um, all the people doing it, no one's ever wanted out. There's never been a bad trip from layman's gnosis at the website truebluehealer.com. Thus, I commend it to you. Stephen Sidney.